Hello YouTube, I'm Venomman20 and this is my pet Burmese Python. This is not a breeder, this is solely my pet. He's a wonderful snake and uh, people are talking about their pets. You know this Python ban just passed. If people don't understand that, I'll go ahead and explain that. That is that all of these right here, Burmese Pythons, South and North African rocks and yellow uh, anacondas will no longer be allowed to transport across state lines or imported or exported. So it doesn't sound like a huge deal, but it really is. Oh, it's okay, buddy. Bree's very heavy. It sounds like he's hissing, but he really isn't. But, like, if I want to move with this snake, I won't be able to. Even though he's totally harmless, this guy was abused, handled very viciously, but as you can see, Totally tame snake, doesn't mind being petted on the head, every other snake hates that, but Burmese pythons are super calm animals. Um, they do make great pets, but they get huge. I mean, if you have room for a 15, 16 foot long snake and you have the know-how to handle them safely, like don't put it around your neck because they are strong, um, and you know, you feed them consistently, they are very sweet guys. Look at this dude. Hi. What are you doing, huh? And he was tormented the first half of his life. Until I got him, he was treated like a piece of crap. Um, this guy is 7 years old. This is a female. She should be 15, 16, 17 foot long, but she's not. She's like 10. So that's very sad. I mean, she's just malnourished, covered in mites, just treated like a piece of crap. But she has nothing against me. I mean, look at her. She will do this with anybody. She's just a sweetheart. I do not handle her daily. I handle her maybe once a month just to clean out the cage. And she's just naturally tame, though. But this law is just total bullcrap. We got the petitions. We did a wonderful job. But the government just said, you know, we really don't care how good of a job you do. Free country, my ass, is pretty much what they said. So, uh, with that being said... You know, not being able to transport these across state lines, it's really going to hurt a lot of small businesses that breed these. Um, it's going to hurt the reputable dealers. Um, unless you can, I don't know. In my opinion, in order to, uh, you know, eliminate bad keepers, we should really just keep every animal microchipped. You know, if you microchip this animal and it gets out and you find out I own it, well, lock, throw, or lock me up and throw away the key. You know, because there's been no storms around where I live for a long time. So it wasn't that. It was just neglect. I, I didn't care, I guess. So that's the real way to take care of it. But the only fear I have for this guy right here is that he might poop on me. I mean, these, these guys are not fearful animals. They do get big. They do have a bad feeding response. But otherwise, these are our pets. These are sweethearts. Um, the African rock can sometimes have a bad demeanor. But, okay, make it to where we have to get a permit to possess it. Don't just ban it like that, you know. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to take mine across state line. Uh, but anyway, so we've lost this battle, but we will not lose the war. Uh, we're still fighting. We're uh, pondering what we're going to do right now. Um, keep Stay tuned. Thank you for your support. Thank you for everything that you guys did. Um... And I was wrong. Originally when it says all pythons, it is just the African rock, the Burmese, and the yellow anaconda. So sorry for that misinformation. Um, but this law, I do believe, is already in effect. So I can't travel with this guy. If I have a lecture in another state, I'm just going to have to refuse it. I can't do it. I'm sorry to those people. Um, yeah, so it just really sucks, you know, that we got screwed over like that. Um, the statistic is 49 people a year are killed in playing golf, and uh, one person every two years is killed by a Burmese python. Uh, 39 species of birds have been killed by feral cat or have went extinct because of feral cats, and uh, 480,000 or 480 million birds a year are estimated to be killed by wild cats. And uh, Burmese pythons um, don't kill for fun, they kill for food. So uh, even though, you know, down there at the very southern tip of Florida, they have problems with these, we ain't going to have problems with these up in Kansas, up in New Mexico, up in New York. You don't have to worry about that. That's a localized problem. But uh, clearly Bill Nelson didn't get the memo. So um, if you want to email him, I will list every email you need to email to just chew out. Be nice. Don't be cursing and everything, but just tell them what you think about it, that you think it's bullcrap. Um, 
you know, uh, fighting with anger doesn't ever get us anywhere. Uh, and if you say the wrong thing, you can go to prison. So really watch what you say. But uh, just be nice, strict, firm, you know. Say that you think it's a bunch of crap. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy away because he's heavy. And he's kind of ornery. So, and he looks like he's about to poop because I just got done feeding him uh, about four days ago. So thank you for watching this video. You have a wonderful night, you too.